In today's video, I'm going to give an update review on the N75 Motorsports Tune my wife and I put on her Veloster N about six months ago. I will also go over what to expect when tuning with N75. The process, service, and support. I'd like to begin with N75's tuning process. N75 offers two main ways to tune your car. N75 also offers additional tuning methods, but in this video, I chose to focus on the two most popular methods. You can either purchase a spare ECU with a preloaded specific stage tune and options, or you can purchase a custom tune file. The preloaded specific stage tune is also called an off the shelf tune. The second option requires the purchase of an EK1 device. There are a few different EK1 devices to choose from. We chose the EK1 Mini due to its size, but if you're looking for a full-time display with beautiful graphics and gauges, I would recommend the EK1 Pro. To get started with purchasing a preloaded spare ECU tune, head over to N75's website. I will have a link to their website in the video description. In the top right corner, click on the three-line icon. Locate your vehicle brand, locate your model, click on ECU. This will take you to the ECU tuning page. You'll want to select ECU calibration on spare ECU. Scroll down the page to locate the description of each stage. Each stage has specific requirements that must be met for the tune to work properly on your vehicle. I will go over the stages for Hyundai N vehicles to show an example of how the stages work. The first stage is stage zero. You will not need to modify your car in any way for this tune. The main benefit of this tune is to disable octane learning, which will increase the boost and timing of the vehicle. You will need to run premium gas for this tune. Next is stage one. This tune again requires no modifications, but colder spark plugs and an upgraded high pressure fuel pump is recommended. The power and torque increase is estimated at 275 wheel horsepower and 295 wheel foot pounds. Next, stage two. This tune does require modifications to your vehicle. You will need to run colder spark plugs and an upgraded high pressure fuel pump. Also, a cold air intake, which can be any brand. The power and torque increase is estimated at 285 wheel horsepower and 310 wheel foot-pounds. Finally, Stage 3. This tune again requires modifications. All the modifications from Stage 2 are required with some additional modifications. The additional modifications are a front mount intercooler, water meth injection system, and a downpipe with catless or high flow exhaust. The power and torque increase is estimated at 300 wheel horsepower and 345 wheel foot pounds. Finally, there are two options available with these tunes. The first option is to increase the vehicle's red line to 7,000 or 7,200 RPM, depending on your vehicle's transmission. The second option is to add a pop mode. The pop mode recommends a downpipe. I have a short video showing how this sounds. Spoiler, it's loud. The second main way to tune your car is by using N75's custom recalibration file service. This service requires you to purchase or already own an EK1 device, such as an EK1 Mini or Pro. To purchase this service, you will choose EK1 Custom ECU Recalibration File. You'll need to select your vehicle and whether or not you want additional revision files. If you need additional maps for different gas octane when traveling or you plan to add additional power modifications in the future, I would suggest purchasing the three additional revision options. This option is heavily discounted when purchased at the same time you purchase your initial tune and doesn't expire. This tuning option allows you to customize your tune specifically to your car and its modifications. Also, you can choose any options that are available, like extra pops and bangs, at no additional charge. After purchasing your tune, you will email your vehicle's information, list of modifications, and tune request to N75 Tuning Support. Their response time is very fast, typically 24 to 48 hours. They will email you a base file that you will load onto your car, 
along with a list of gauges that they will need you to set in your EK1 before you data log the file. These gauges are important because they are specific parameters N75 is reviewing to ensure everything is working properly on your vehicle. After the base file has been data logged, you'll receive and log additional files until the tune is completed. The number of files may vary depending on your specific situation. Once you're satisfied with how the car feels and everything has been verified by N75, you'll have a custom tune made just for your car. This second tuning option is what my wife and I chose. We felt it gave us the most flexibility, allowing us to put the car back to stock tune if necessary, or change the tune on the fly. I have a separate video going over how to set up and data log using the EK-1. Daniel at N75 recently contacted me and informed me that he was in the process of implementing a new tuning file portal. Once I have all the information about this new process, I will have a video going over the process in depth. On to service and support. I want to discuss both together because they really go hand in hand. The service I've received from Daniel at N75 Motorsports has been great. He stayed in con constant contact with me, answering all my questions in a timely manner. During the initial tuning phase, we unfortunately blew our turbo. Daniel provided the best support possible. I was able to reach him right after the incident happened, and he did everything possible to help answer questions, make product suggestions, and get the required products to fix the issue as soon as possible. I've dealt with a lot of companies, and I can say that they wouldn't be as responsive and helpful as what Daniel has been at N75. I can't recommend N75 Motorsports enough. Vision 2 map. Manual mode. Third gear. third gear pull this time. Also just let the car go through the gears itself as a comparison. If you're looking for a tuning company to work with, N75 Motorsports is a solid choice. They offer multiple tuning options to fit your needs. Daniel is great to work with and is committed to providing good service to the Hyundai community. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more information about tuning using the EK1, please click on one of the videos that you see on your screen now. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more informative content.